the hardest thing for me is that I never got to say goodbye to my old life. I was an avid rock climber. I worked out every day. I ate extremely healthy. There was really nothing that I could have done to prevent what happened. A little over a year ago, I was hospitalized with COVID. I was born with aortic valve stenosis. I wasn't able to do sports at all. I wasn't really allowed to do a lot of workouts. I wasn't allowed to run. So with my heart, COVID did make it a little bit worse. I flatlined three times. Uh, quickly, my state started to become really bad. I fell into psychosis. I had my legs amputated. I lost 70 pounds because I wasn't able to eat or drink. There were certain, you know, life support systems that they couldn't put me on because of my heart. I was in the hospital recovering for two months in a day. I mean, there were some days that I was like, oh, you know, in a year I'll be good. But most days I was like, I don't even know if I'm gonna make it till tomorrow. Normally it will take more energy to walk with prosthetics than not. I did it. And on top of not having any muscle to begin with, it was just overexerting and my heart not being top tier condition. It just made everyday activities extremely difficult to do. It takes three months post surgery to be fully recovered. This will actually be the first time that I can run long distance or train for that. What speed are you going? Uh, 2.6. I'll be able to climb proficiently post-COVID for the first time. You got it, Claire. So I have finally been able to start modeling again. When I look at the pictures, I see the beauty. I see the, the strength, the resilience, and the ain't gonna take no <laughs> I definitely looked back on my old pictures and I would 100% compare them to now. It's kind of hard to not. But then I remember I look at like Amy Mullins, Amy Purdy, Ward Wasser, and I'm like, well, they look great. I mean, there's only one way to go and it's forward. Can't really go anywhere else. <laughs>